Bye, everybody. Whew. Come over here to work in our little food pot here in the backyard. We hadn't uh, done anything to it here in a good while. We've been having to deal with that old COVID thing. I've had it, and now my, my wife's got it. Daughter, son had it. Mother, mother has it. You know, the whole family's been having to deal with COVID, so we really hadn't got a chance to do any more videos in a little while. We hadn't got to get out here and work in this food plot, which the grass and weeds have pretty much overtaken it. But we still got a few beans and stuff growing around in it. The buckwheat and everything, it's done died off. And I was wanting to get it planted then, but I didn't get to. So, since we've had to deal with COVID and everything, we're just going to do this a quick way. We're going to plant throw and grow. Just don't throw and grow is what we're going to plant. I've done got one bag of this in my cedar. This stuff pick up at Walmart for ten dollars, but it's it's really overgrown. So we're gonna get it this stuff thrown out, and then we're gonna get the lawnmower over here and run the lawnmower over, it. and then we'll see if it grows. I'm gonna get y'all put here on my chest, and we'll get to seeding this. Y'all can see it's this stuff. It's it's just weeds have took it over. But I'm gonna get this seed out. We'll walk through this stuff and Huh? Neither one of them. Here. Don't piss in that. I'll put one bag on that. Cut it.
Hmm. Yeah. So I said we need to run over it now. Lock it down. That way the seeds that's on these limbs, yeah. when you drive through it, pushes it over and they fall off. Yeah, I don't know, but my beans, they ain't sprouted yet, some of them. Yeah, here the other day, it started raining, I came over here and I had some beans. Just beans I'd got from work and throw it out. So, but I see a few of them trying to sprout, but we got to get this grass knocked down on top of them so they'll, so they'll grow. Something being in here, Andrew. Yeah, and we're trying to something new, too. We got us a... Put us a salt block on this here uh, hickory stump. I'd seen a few videos talking about putting a salt block out on the stump. That way the salt would soak into the stump and be a natural salt lick, so... We thought we'd try it out and see what it would do here in the backyard. Because we know our stuff that we make work. It works real good. But we thought we'd try this salt block thing out with a stump. Which you can, you can see. They've been in here on it, but they really hadn't eat the trees and brush and stuff down around it we're gonna get this stuff knocked over too but they have been in here eating something has eating on these limbs and stuff around it but you can see where they've been in here digging on this stump too you know it's just something something else that we're trying it's the first time we've ever done this but I have used salt blocks before, but. And you can go buy these salt blocks. They're not very much. I think about $7 at our tractor supply. But yeah, that's. We're going to try it out and see how it works like that, though. But we're gonna get this stuff knocked down and uh, see if this stuff will grow.
dog, you can barely see him. That's when we checked it last time. I had to go ride for it. <laughs> Maybe we. Then we got us. It's taking. It's still taking pictures. Yeah, that is. Nice. Pull it because of the handy. Mm -hmm. Alright. Put her back in there. <laughs> you barely see it now. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's, it's the next day after we planted all this stuff here yesterday. I thought I'd come back over here. I just want to show y'all a few things. A couple of bushes we got over here at the, at the deer eat on. I didn't show y'all yesterday. I just want to show y'all. But we got this old bush here. We call it fire bush. Really don't know what it is. That's what we call it. But these little old berries, you see them little berries, and things that turn red, birds eat them, carry them off, and they'll do their business, and more trees that grow, these things turn red, real red here for long, then see a few leaves already turning red, but for some reason, these deer, they love this thing. They'll come through here and just tear the the ends of these limbs up. But let me see here. You can tell it's you can tell it's them deer because it's like tore. It's not an easy cut. But them deer they'll come through here. Cause there's a deer trail right here where this ladder's at and uh, got deer trail right down here that come out of the woods into this and uh, them deer they love this old bush so they'll tear it up all up in here and uh, we got another bush over here I'm gonna have to cut it or cut the cherry trees down around it. But it's a mean old bush. That sucker's got thorns all over it. Y'all can see this bush here. Now, right now they really ain't eating on it a whole lot. But when it comes springtime, and this thing starts putting out, these deer, they tear it up. But this old thing, yeah, show y'all. Y'all see them thorns? Hey, them suckers is thorny. You don't want to get in them, because they're mean. But them deer, they'll eat it. And then these other little old shrub bushes, I really hadn't seen them eating anything on them. But every now and then they might eat some the tips of the limbs off or something. But mainly that little thorny bush and this bush here. Them deer tear it up. But I just wanted to show y'all some of that stuff. And uh, let y'all see what the deer eat besides what we plant back here there's a variety of food like i say in our old grass and stuff it's going to be dying out here before long and uh, that throw and grow it's going to start growing and i'm going to get some uh, actual cereal rye probably some oats or maybe some wheat mix in I'm going to throw it out also here in the next few weeks, hopefully. 
hopefully I'll get over this COVID stuff real good. It's been a couple of weeks since I've had it. And being a, and my wife, she's still dealing with it. But I say our deer season's coming up next weekend, 9-11. And the you know, me and Andrew, we don't know if we're going to hunt at our aunt's place or if we're going to go hunt public. Hunt public, I can't walk too far because I'm out of breath just walking across the yard here. Still trying to get my energy and stuff back up. But, hey, that COVID stuff, it's a, it's a butt kicker. It'll just kick your butt. I mean, bad. Where are you at? But hey, hopefully we'll, you know, get our stuff ready. We're going to try to get over our ants sometime this week. Get some stuff done over there because we ain't got our shooting lanes and stuff cut back out. We got a few trees we have to pull over out of our shooting lanes because we don't want to cut them because they're dogwoods. And the ants, she just loves dogwoods like my mama. They... They, they love them old dogwood, so we try not to cut them down. But we'll take a rope and tie to it, and we'll pull it over out of the shooting lane. So the tree's still there, you know, but we'll tie it up with a rope and pull it over. And hopefully we'll be showing y'all some of that stuff, what we do to get ready over. We'll have the camera over showing you. But hey, y'all hit that uh, subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that little bell icon, shoot comments. I still got some comments that I got to get back to. Hadn't got to because of COVID. Just hadn't been wanting to do anything. I hadn't got to get out of the house or anything. So just here, for me, just here in the past few days, getting out and trying to get stuff done around the house and stuff. But, hey, we'll get her, though. Hey, we'll see y'all.